The new quarterback numbers 23 of 44, 333 yards, three touchdowns, two picks yesterday, and that career long 87 yard touchdown pass to, to T.Y. Hilton. Uh, I, I thought they got away, when I say they, I guess Andrew, I thought Andrew got, a, got away from the short screens, dink and dunk, that sort of thing, kept the ball a lot longer, was looking downfield more. Did you see that at all yesterday? A, a little bit. I mean, you look at the first half. I mean, he started 9-19 for 79 yards and two picks. I mean, he had a zero rating up until the nine-minute mark in the second quarter. And right. then the second half, he played phenomenal. 14-25, 254, three touchdowns. Um, but what I did notice, he did kind of get away from his checkdowns. And, and obviously, penalties and sacks kind of push you back. But I did notice a, t a check down yesterday. Frank was kind of in the middle of the field. He ended up dropping the ball. I don't know if you yeah. remember the play. Yeah, he bobbled the ball. He bobbled the it. ball. Yeah. Um, but I did think Andrew – didn't throw that ball the way he should throw that ball. You don't have to put a lot on that ball, but you can't just float it to where the nose of the football is pointing upwards. Um, you you got to give it to him because that'll give Frank the, the time to catch the ball, turn, turn, see where everybody's at, and make a move, maybe make somebody miss and get some yardage. It seems like sometimes when Andrew comes down to those check downs, he, he, he relaxes a little bit, his elbow drops, and the ball kind of floats a little bit, and um, he doesn't put the pep on it. It just seems like those throws are – off kilter sometimes. Those right. are supposed to be, hey, I'm getting it to you. Here it is. Boom. Catch the ball, turn, and make somebody missing, make something happen. And, um, and and that just seemed like a little bit of a red flag to me. But he is coming off the shoulder. You know, who knows if he's 100% healthy? Well, he's probably not 100, but he, he good enough to play at least. That was my next question. Is the shoulder still bothering him? I would say, watching him out there, probably yes. Yeah, well, I mean, I, to the point where at the end of the season, if we hear that Andrew's got shoulder surgery planned, None of us would be surprised. Right, that. but I don't see I don't see him alter a guy that had a shoulder problem in myself. I had to alter my release from up high to kind of like three quarter, um, so it wouldn't hurt because I had a torn labrum and I played for a torn labrum with a torn labrum for five years mm -hmm. while I was in the NFL from my second year till you know my last year with the Giants until I got it fixed. But um, it's not something that prohibits you from playing and playing well. Play well. You, you got to alter things, and I haven't seen Andrew really alter things. Um, his release is the same. Um, I did have noticed his accuracy is a little off at times, and his, his strength's a little off at times. But, um, but I don't think it's it's something that serious. And I, and I could be wrong, but it just looks like he's just not in rhythm right now.